Hey guys, today I'm really excited to show you how to make one of our most popular Vitamix recipes, a deliberately overblended chocolate ice cream that's strikingly similar to uh, the famous Wendy's Frosty. It's fairly advanced because you need to use the tamper, but simple enough for beginners. Oh, and I should mention this recipe is whole food plant-based, keto, no sugar added, dairy-free, vegan, and still such a tasty Vitamix recipe. Okay, prep by making two types of ice cubes, traditional with water and coconut milk. Four cups of fresh for the former and one cup of canned full fat for the latter. In a small saucepan, heat half a cup of brewed coffee. You can use decaf if you can't have caffeine or if you're gonna be giving this chocolate ice cream to children. And half a cup of dark chocolate chips. Once it's almost smooth, turn off the heat. Add two tablespoons of cocoa powder, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Pour this warm chocolate mixer into the Vitamix container and then add a fourth of a cup of pitted dates, half a cup of raw cashews. They don't need to be soaked, but if you want to, you can. And we're gonna blend these till smooth. Ramp from variable speed one to 10 and blend for about 60 seconds. Now we want our ice cream to be ice cream, not ice cream soup. So we're gonna let this warm mixture cool for about 10 to 20 minutes. Once that chocolate mixture has cooled down a little bit, we're gonna add the coconut milk cubes and the ice cubes. Two important notes here. One, you wanna blend on the highest possible speed your blender has. So either a high speed switch or variable speed 10. Important note number two, you're gonna to need to use the tamper. I apologize for the poor camera work, but here's what using the tamper to make thick blends looks like. It's gonna look and feel dangerous, but it's not at all. The tamper is designed to never touch the blade, assuming you have the lid on. You might hear kind of a, a chugging noise. It might sound like your blender is upset. Assuming you have your Vitamix on the highest speed that it can go, you're not gonna hurt your machine. It's designed to do this. After about a minute or two, you're gonna have chocolate ice cream. Use an ice cream scooper for the most satisfying experience for everyone. You can serve it right away or pre-portion it on a cookie sheet or on one of those fancy cut out brownie sheets and just freeze it for later and let it sit on the counter for five minutes before you're gonna serve it. Now, if you want a Wendy's style frosty, you just need to blend with the tamper, of course, for another 30 seconds past that point of perfect ice cream. So you get that kind of half melted, half ice cream, kind of a malt, soft serve like kind of consistency that's perfect for eating with a spoon or if you're a Wendy's Frosty aficionado, some fries. Now, if you appreciate recipe videos like this, hit that thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already and let us know in the comments what we should make next. Thank you for watching guys. We will see you in the next one.